Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Industrial uh, Beta 1.52 Episode 8, which this should have been Episode 9, but Episode 8 got eaten. So I'm afraid that uh, I will go over what I did in Episode 8, but unfortunately you won't get to see me actually doing it. Uh, I built some barrels. You'd seen me do that before. That's not the important thing. I built a uh, charging bench. Which is basically, um, you take a bat box, a circuit, some cables and wood, and uh, I made some batteries. I also made an electric wrench, which is made that way, and an electric tree tap, which is made that way. I also made a redstone cell and some uh, biogas engines. Bio. So biogas engines are basically made with bronze. And the red power cell is basically electrum diamonds and hardened glass. And then you charge then you take that and surround it with well, you take that and put it in here to get filled with um liquid redstone and then you put electrum and lead around it and, and you make that. I also made a teleporter, which was mostly so you don't have to watch me running up downstairs, which is basically you take some iron and uh, redstone and some more iron and some dye, and you get a teleporter. Then you set the frequency by right-clicking on it. This one's set to zero. And once there's another one set to zero, you step on it, and it teleports you out. So, and then I started getting power ready. For my farms. Um, I, could, I tried to use Liquidux here, and it wouldn't work. I do not know why. I don't know if it's a bug. So I went with normal build pipe, build, build craft pipes, and it came out okay. And it looks like I'm probably going to need more bio gas engines, but basically it charges up this not very effectively. Yes, I'm definitely going to need more bio gas mm -hmm. engines. So let's go get a couple more of those. Okay, so I'm going to need some bronze and some glass. We'll build two more. And I think I have enough wood and cobble. I'm going to need cylinders. I'm going to need two iron and two redstone. Oh, I also built a minium stone which is eight minimum shards that you get off of mobs surrounded by an inert core which is that and it lets you convert stuff it also if I put in my crafting bench like that and hit C it gives me a portable crafting table so it also lets me convert things I don't know how to set it hmm I have to check on that Okay, so let's get rid of some stuff here in our inventory that we don't need at the moment. We need some levers. Okay. So, need a bunch of these. Strange that these work, but the others don't. I don't understand that. Hmm. 
Yeah, see, a bunch of the forestry don't work with the shift right, and I'm not sure what that issue with that is. I tried to upgrade NEI, and it broke big time, so. Okay, so now this, and this, and this. Okay, that should give us enough of those. Need one more le lever. Make a whole bunch. And let's throw this in here. And I think I should be okay. So let's remember to take the quick way so you don't have to watch me run upstairs. Okay, and I do need some stuff that I left behind there. That was silly of me. Huh, I wonder if RedNet works. Let's, let's try an experiment here. what it takes to make red net and see if I can get red net to do what I need. Oop. Red net is a new uh, part of mine factory which lets you send redstone signals. Red net. So we have programmable controller, the red net cable, and So what do we need to make this? We need plastic sheets and redstone. So plastic sheets are easy. We should have, I have raw rubber here. So if I cook that up, oh, look, steak. Now let's throw it in this one because this one does it fast. And let's see if it'll cook up in this one. Should be giving me rubber bars. How do I get raw plastic? I cook up rubber bars. So we'll take our rubber bars here and throw them in here. And I guess I turned this off too soon. And we'll need some redstone. I can also use normal rubber to do this. I wonder, can I throw mine factory rubber wood into my extractor? Well, what do you know? I can. Okay, so if I put this here, put this down the middle, that should give me red net cable. So if I put red net cable here and here, Here, 
Oh, so that's going to trigger the door, isn't it? That that's going to trigger the door. Well, except I think I can turn it off or something, can I? Or change the color, something like that? Now I can change the color. So if I put a lever down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, it's I had the same problem I had before. It's opening this door. Oh, but I bet if I uh, if I can get to a place where I can do this, but if I change this to a different color. Uh, I need to figure out some place to put the control isn't a not a good place to put the control okay so if I change these each one color Is that door still open? Okay, and that will be a different color. Then if I put the lever right here, you change the color of this one. So when we turn, whoops, when we turn this, let's turn that. When we turn this lever on, it should only power those and not the door. Yay! And now we have one lever that controls it. It's still outside the room, but we have one lever that controls it. Yay! And I should get some smooth stone here and put my roof back. Smooth stone. Okay, so now we know how that works. And that should work for what we need. So let's go ahead and grab this and run it over here. Throw it in to make us more plastic, because we're going to need more plastic for what I'm going to do in a little bit. That should give us plenty of red net. And we have plenty of levers, so let's run back up. Oh, and I need... Okay, there it is. Some more gold. Okay, yeah, let's sleep, make a day. Avoid creepers, because they love to come out and get me. Eat soon. That means I have to get my food straightened out. 
Okay, so boom, boom. Then we'll go ahead and put half a stack in there and half a stack in there. And can I put this on stuff on top? Whoops. So is that carrying a signal through all of them? I, oh, yeah. So that carries a signal through all of them. That's pretty good. So now I should have three of them filling this. Until I run out of saplings. Okay, let's put this and this away. Let's go ahead and put... We have room for one more here, so I'm going to go ahead and put down my pipe for... We actually got room for more than one more, but... But I will probably add those off camera. So I think next... We're going to work on a sewer system for our animals. And you may be asking, why do we need a sewer system for animals? Well, I will show you. So I need some glass, because I'm going to need some tanks. There we are, tanks. And I'll need some more plastic. Plastic. Okay, so the first thing I need is to eat some food. I know I've said that multiple times, but this time I'm actually going to do it. And let's go ahead and throw some meat in there to cook. Okay, so sewer. We need a sewer. So we're going to need four, five, five I think should do me. So to make them I need bricks, a factory machine, and a bucket. And to build a factory machine I need that. So I'm going to need a lot more plastic. Huh, apparently that gives me normal rubber. But I should be able to throw normal rubber in here. Boom. And that should convert over to raw plastic. And let's get the rest of the rubber wood here. Might as well run it through the process. And we'll just grab some normal rubber here and make it into raw plastic. Okay, so I needed five, I said, right? So I need Okay. Just nine of those. I need more raw plastic. Okay, so next I need bricks. I have eight bricks. Need buckets. I said five, right? Oh, that makes four. Never mind. That gives me more than I need. <laughs> Okay, and then I need liquid ducts. And 
I think I have what I need to get my sewer system set up. So, whoops. I was going to run up the stairs again. So, sewer system. Here we come. So, where do I want to put the tank? That's the question. Whoops. Back, back, sheep, back. Don't escape. Ah! I had a sheep escape. Me my rough sewer gates and down the hole we go. Is it going to be deep enough? No, then not if I'm not very careful. deeper and ultimately I'm gonna have to make a stairway down to maintain this but we'll worry about that later I'm sorry I'm mumbling aren't I I don't normally do that and I didn't bring any torches with me and it's really dark down here well, you don't need the, uh, we don't really need you to sit through me digging holes. So let's see if I can get this. Set up right. And I will be right back. Get some torches in that. Okay, I'm back. And we're about to hook up our tanks to store raw sewage in. And there we have our raw sewage running in. And let's get some dirt, because I was a noob. There we are, our giant tank of raw sewage. Now what I need to do is get some upgrades. So we'll get some upgrades and I'll show you how those work.
So, upgrades. And somehow, reason my caps lock is on. So, we want. Is it a radius increase of two? Yep, that's what we want. So, we need iron upgrades, which take raw plastic, iron, gold nugget. Okay. So did I use all my raw plastic? Probably. Nope. So I need raw plastic, iron, gold nuggets, and redstone. Oh, we'll make our gold nuggets. And we're going to go ahead and make nine of these because we will need them. They do not stack, however, as you just noticed. Okay. So let's head back up. Because right now the sewage grates are only gathering sewage in the square they're in. And the pens are five by five. So if I give the two radius, they should collect from the entire pen. This will someday be a chicken pen, so we're going to go ahead and set it up. Come on, let me through, let me through. our pig pen here. And now we're connecting, collecting raw sewage. And you might be wondering, what the heck are you going to do with raw sewage? Well, I shall show you. But first, let's check here. How's this doing? Well, that's much better. Now I gotta figure out how to get power over to here. But we'll figure that out in a minute. And I put these here so it's a little neater because I don't like stuff down there. Okay. Now we need to build a composter. So, for a composter, we need a factory machine, a furnace, two pistons, and some raw plastic. Most of that we already have. So, three raw plastic. Whoops, three raw plastic. One of these. I forgot what else already. Furnace. Don't I have a furnace in here? Yep, furnace. So all I need is two pistons. Which I should have everything I need to make. I'm going to make tons of pistons because I always need tons of pistons. Now we're going to make our compost composter. And I just took the stairs again, didn't I? Sigh. 
Really, one of these days I'll remember that's there. Okay. Oh, I'm also going to need a chest. So let's get out of our minium stone here. Okay, so let's get some liquiducts. And we're going to run it over here just because I can. And then I should be able to right click on this. And then I need a lever. Okay. And then we'll put a chest next to that. And then we need power for the time being. Let's go ahead and steal the power cell from here. I will ultimately run cable over to it, but I just want to show you how this works. So it's basically going to take our raw sewage and create industrial fertilizer. And can industrial fertilizer... Let's see if industrial fertilizer actually works in here. I guess there's still fertilizer left and there's no work to do there right now. So we'll have to check that later. But basically this processes our raw sewage, which you see we get in abundance fairly quickly, into industrial fertilizer. But uh, at this point, let's go ahead and wrap up the episode. And I will run power to this underground, probably. And we'll set this back to charge back up. We have our engine, so we made quite a bit of headway. And now a power source and a source of fertilizer for using mine factory farms. And my little animals here are going to supply me with plenty of raw ingredients keep that going for a while so until next time as always if you enjoyed this episode go ahead and leave me a like or a comment uh, I do appreciate likes because it does get me more views if you dislike the episode leave me a dislikes fine but please leave a comment saying what you disliked and as always this is Spidey 1958 and have fun minecrafting <laughs>